Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be doing these really, really pretty cute baby pink and floral flower, dried flower nails. These are inspired by one of my faves, Nails by Zay. I believe she did a video on her channel. Um, so go check that out. I'm going to put her stuff on the screen. Um, I just showed you guys the other hand. So I didn't record both hands for this because I wasn't going to record these. And then I decided to last minute because I thought they were coming out really cute so i'm only doing this one hand um for the video but i'm keeping this in real time so this video is not going to be sped up or anything and yeah um i also didn't since i wasn't going to record them i didn't record any of the prep so i apologize because i just saw you guys comments on my last video that you do want me to show the prep um in every video so i apologize this will be like the last one that i don't um, and yeah, so first I'm starting off with the pinky. I'm doing the pink to clear ombre again. The pink is from Still Stay Ready Nail Studio in the color pinky. After I get the blend like how I want, I'm going to add some of the dried flowers, which are from Amazon. I'm also going to be adding gold flakes, which are from Young Nails and this uh glitter from this glitter acrylic from valentino i believe it's the, the one it's in 137 which is just a really pretty iridescent type glitter um and yeah the next nail the ring finger is going to be the full pink the middle finger is going to be a full clear nail with flowers gold foil in the 137 from valentino and the pointer finger and the thumb are both going to be full pink
I think that I probably should have put a layer of clear acrylic on um, this one. Just a thin layer just because I was putting flowers and foil um, on the natural nail area. So I think it probably would have been better to put a clear acrylic. I don't think it. I don't know if it has a big meaning like if that really really matters or not. But um, next time I definitely will. I'm encapsulating with Mia Secrets Clear, and I'm also using a size 10 brush. Um, I don't think I said that earlier, but y'all should know what size brush I use by now if you watch me for real.
this is what the application looked like now i'm going to reshape them and smooth out any bumps or lumps with my file i'm using a 100 100 gram file that i get from my nail supply store and after this i'm going to be going around with the e-file to help seal the cuticles in and prevent lifting
Now I'm going to be adding that one little bling stone that I did as well in my last video. I told y'all I like doing this. I think it just adds something like it makes the nails look bomb. Um, to put these on, I'm using Zule's bling adhesive and my jewels I buy from Sky Beats Online. That's the only place I buy them from. Their shipping is really quick and fast, so that's why I like to get them from them. Now I'm going to be applying my top coat, which is a no buff top coat. This is from this is by IBD, and this is also in my Amazon list. Alright y'all, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe for more videos. Thank you guys for watching and I will see y'all in my next video.